welcome back to my channel it is time for another korean skincare review and so in today's video i will be reviewing the vt cosmetics sika line but instead of just sitting here or standing here and chatting with you guys about the ingredients and my experiences i thought i would approach this review in a new and hopefully more interesting manner so for today's review i've decided to change my entire routine for two whole weeks so i can fully incorporate all the products i've received from vt cosmetics so during these two weeks i've also vlogged the progress and my experiences with the products so without further ado let's begin by looking at the footage that i have taken Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest with you and say that I have lost some of the footage. <laughs> even though it was just two weeks um, I was filming a lot of things recently and so a lot of my memory card just <sighs> became very full and so I just deleted stuff without checking and so I lost some of the footage but it's fine, I still have some footage so let's watch that first So this is how my skin looks like right now and I would say that generally it's doing well but I did have a slight breakout a couple of days ago it's doing much better now which is why I would say that it is slightly irritated Nevertheless, I thought it was like the perfect time to try out the products because as you may or may not know the Cicaline products main ingredient is Intel Asia Tika which is an ingredient that has soothing, healing, calming, moisturizing properties and it's supposed to be an ingredient that will work really well for acne and so I thought um, it will be a great chance to try the products and hopefully it will improve my current skin condition in two weeks time Okay, so first impressions First of all, the cleanser, I feel like uh, it looks like it was foaming but it actually doesn't foam, it just becomes very tacky and I feel like it's the type of cleanser whereby if you don't add enough water or you take a very long time to cleanse your skin then it will sort of dry out and it will become very difficult to like move around your skin um, it does not leave my skin feeling tight or dry after cleansing which is really nice because this is supposed to be a deep cleansing cleanser so surprisingly uh, yeah it didn't leave my skin feeling dry or tight after which I used the emulsion and I usually don't use emulsions so I don't really know what it's for. I do need to read up on it. So it's a very thick and goopy product and it feels very nice on my skin. It does feel very moisturizing and very calming. So far I really like it. Even though it has a really thick consistency, it doesn't feel very sticky or tacky on my skin. So, so far it's good. Uh, and then I decided to use the Sika Smuda, which is something that I've never heard of. And so last night I actually went to Google what this is for. And apparently you can use this on like every part of your body. Like you can use it on your nails, you can use it on your body, your face, even your hair. Uh, I do want to try and use it on my hair and see how it works. But yeah, just now I use it on my face. I just applied a really light layer. And yeah, I would say that this is the product that I wasn't too keen on trying because the second ingredient is drying alcohol. So and you can also apparently mix it in your foundation for the dewy look, but I'm not going to try that because right now I'm more into the matte look. So um, maybe next time, but not today. <laughs> Finally, I went in with the um, Sika Essence Sun, which is the sunscreen and surprisingly, I really like it. Uh, it has a really lightweight texture. Uh, I, I did not see the ingredients, but I am guessing it might be a physical sunscreen because I do feel like it left a little uh, white cast on my face. So I have one last product, which is the Capsule Mask, which I will be using tonight instead. Um, so I have not tried it yet. In conclusion, my first impressions is not bad. I do like the product so far. Uh, it does make my skin feel very moisturized and calm. I did use my moisturizer because I don't have a moisturizer here. But overall, it does make my skin feel very comfortable. One thing I did notice is the fragrance. Everything just smells very old school. Like the cleanser just smells like soap. And the sunscreen just smells like those that you use when you go swimming. So just a quick little update on how my skin is doing with the Sika products. I'm currently working from home so I'm just taking a little break to update you guys. So up until my previous update, I feel like everything was going fine but then things started going downhill from there. So just the next day after my previous update, I just started feeling like my skin was getting more and more dehydrated and irritated and then lo and behold, I started peeling around my nose area which is often the very first place for me to detect any signs of irritations and in addition to that, I also broke out. 
on my chin, on my cheeks, and also on my forehead, which is strange because my forehead is usually the clearest place on my face. And so I think that's a really clear sign of irritation from the skincare products I'm using. So I'm thinking that it could be due to the combination of the smoother and the sunscreen, which both contains drying alcohol, and the cleanser, which is very deep cleansing probably too deep cleansing for me to use twice a day or it could also be due to the fact that all of the products contains fragrance and I was using all of them at the same time either way I am not going to show you any footage of my skin because when I have a breakout the very last thing I want to do is to take a close-up shot of my skin and so I hope you all understand that you can't really see the forehead breakout anyway because it's all just tiny little bumps um, but yeah uh, currently I have completely stopped using the smoother I try and and avoid using the sunscreen every single day and as for the cleanser I have been using it only at night and I feel like it has been working a lot better that way so in the daytime I just use a gentle cleanser so yeah that is my little update I will be continuing this modified routine and we'll see how things go Okay, so today is actually three weeks since I first started using the VT Cosmetics products. Um, and so right now, I'm just going to briefly touch on some of the ingredients uh, and also sort of finalize my feelings and experiences with the products and maybe I'll even rate them like upon 10. <laughs> Beginning with the Malfoam Cleanser, I'm going to give this a 7. Uh, generally speaking, I do love how this cleanser makes my skin feel very clean without causing it to dehydrate too much. While it doesn't necessarily leave my skin feeling tight or uncomfortable right after cleansing, I do feel like sometimes it makes my skin a little bit dry. But I suppose it is because this is a very deep cleansing cleanser. In addition, I'm not that fond of the consistency of this cleanser. It dries out really quickly which often caused me to start dragging the product around my skin which is a very unpleasant experience whilst cleansing my skin. So I find that I have to consistently add a little bit of water uh, while I'm cleansing my skin in order to move uh, smoothly move the product around my skin. But apart from that, I don't actually mind using this cleanser. In fact, I'm still using it in my routine right now because other than the little bit of fragrance, the rest of the ingredients are safe for my sensitized and acne prone skin and so I will recommend this cleanser to people with oily skin but if you also have um, dehydrated and sensitized skin then I will recommend that you only use this at night which is what I'm currently doing and I feel like it's working a lot better because my skin has stopped feeling dehydrated or dry. Next I want to talk about the Sika smoother which is what I usually use after cleansing. So I'm gonna give this product a 3 or maybe even a 2. <laughs> So first of all, honestly, I really don't know what this product is for. I have searched on YouTube and apparently you can use it on your body, on your nails, and even on your hair. So I'm assuming that it's some kind of moisturizer maybe. Anywho, on VT Cosmetics official YouTube channel, they showed that you can use this product on your face with a cotton pad and I have tried it and personally it just felt really weird because the consistency of this is really goopy and thick and so to use this with a cotton pad, I find that it's really unnecessary and it just felt really weird and soggy. Secondly, and very importantly, the second ingredient in this product is drying alcohol and that is a huge amount which will definitely cause sensitizing and dehydration of the skin if you were to use this for a long period of time. Since I already have sensitized and dehydrated skin, it didn't take long for this to start irritating my skin. Like I mentioned in the clips, it has always caused my skin to feel really unpleasant when I apply it onto my skin, especially around my nose area, it will start stinging my skin which is just really uncomfortable and so I have since then stopped using this product. I feel like if I were to continue using this in order to not waste products, I would just use it on my nails. <laughs> Judging from the consistency of this product, I'm assuming that this is supposed to be a soothing and moisturizing gel, something like aloe vera. And as you guys may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of the Etude House Syndrome All-in-One Gel. And so if you're looking for something like an aloe vera gel but better, I will recommend that you check the Etude House one instead. Next, I want to talk about the emulsion. So when I first started using it, as you saw in the clips, I had no idea what an emulsion is. So after doing some really simple reading, uh, I found out that an emulsion is basically a thin out moisturizer or like a thin out lotion for your skin. So it's very suitable for people with oily skin to use this as a lightweight moisturizer. So usually I don't use emulsions in my routine and so I was pleasantly surprised to see how much I was enjoying this product. And so for this emulsion, I'm going to give it 
it and ate. I feel like this emulsion instantly calms and soothes my skin and it also feels really hydrating because it contains a little bit of fragrance. It also smells really nice. I think the consistency of this product is definitely one of my favorite points about this product because it's so watery and smooth. It just makes it really easy to blend out onto my skin and I love using this right before my moisturizer because my moisturizer is quite stiff and so having this layer of emulsion on my skin really helps my moisturizer blend and spread onto my skin better. I definitely feel like this product is one of the most coming products in today's video and so I will recommend it to people with very oily skin so you can use this on its own as a moisturizer or for people with very dry and dehydrated skin you can apply this just before your moisturizer for an extra layer of hydration. After moisturizing I have been using the Sika Essence Sun every single day during the first week even though I probably shouldn't because this does contain drying alcohol but then again it's probably because of the drying alcohol which is why the consistency of this product is so smooth so lightweight and pleasant. Since sunscreen is the very last step of my skincare routine Apart from the ingredients, I also pay a lot of attention to how it sits and feel on my skin like whether or not it blends out flawlessly or does it peel or does it leave a white cast and whatnot. So the sunscreen is pretty much perfect in terms of that because even though I always apply a generous amount of sunscreen on my skin, this blends out seamlessly and it doesn't peel and it doesn't leave an obvious white cast and so I really like to use this especially if I'm about to apply makeup on after my sunscreen. Because the alcohol content in this sunscreen is not as concentrated as the smoother and also because I apply this after my moisturizer, I did not experience any stinging effect from the drying alcohol from this product. That being said, if you do have sensitized, dehydrated, easily irritated skin or eczema and rosacea, this is definitely not a product I would recommend you and because I also have sensitized and dehydrated skin, this is not a product that I will repurchase and it's also not a product that I will use every single day. Nevertheless, I do really like the consistency of this so for that I'm gonna give this a 7. The final product in today's video is the Sika Capsule Mask and I'm gonna give this a 7 as well. So I've been using this mask pretty often as you might be able to tell. Basically whenever I have time I'll just put this on for 10 to 15 minutes. So I feel that this mask mostly helps calm my skin down and also because it has tea leaves in it, you can also give yourself a little bit of physical exfoliation when you rinse it off. After using this mask my skin always feel refreshed, calm and cleansed which is really nice. If you have a small face you can definitely use one capsule twice or you can even use it as a spot treatment if you have any specific areas that you want to calm down. One very important thing that I like to mention though is to never over exceed 15 minutes with this mask. You don't want it to dry on your face because if it dries on your face then you're just dehydrating your skin so stick with 10 to 15 minutes. So regarding that, if you have a slightly larger face, do not try and use one capsule twice and apply like the thinnest layer possible because if you apply a really thin layer, it will only dry out quicker. Over Overall, I do like this mask but the reason why I'm only giving it a 7 is because I don't feel like masks are really necessary in a good skincare routine. Like it does make my skin feels nice but that's pretty much it. I wouldn't say that this mask has made a drastic improvement to my skin and so unless you have extra money, I would rather just get like a serum or an MPU instead. So to conclude, I want to say that I'm really glad that I changed up my entire routine to try the products because usually when I try new products, I will rotate them between the current products that I'm using because I'm just so afraid to make any drastic changes to my skincare routine. Uh, even though the results did not turn out the way I wanted them to, I feel like changing my entire routine really made me use the products more consistently and I feel like because of that, I'm able to see the effects of the products on my skin better and therefore making my reviews more accurate as well. Right now I'm actually still using these two products in my routine and they are the Sika Malform Cleanser and the Sika Emulsion. So my skin is doing a lot better than a week before and I think that's a great sign that I can still use these two products in my routine. So if you're interested to try the products for yourself, make sure to open the description box below because I'll leave the links to them below. And if you like this format of review, please let me know and I'll make sure to do it more often and for my future skincare reviews as well. So I want to thank you so much for watching and to VT Cosmetics for sponsoring this video and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!